else. My a balloon cannot go through our atmosphere without just blowing up on itself. So, where is the spaceship that dropped it? That went into our atmosphere and dropped it. No one has got invisibility. Came from China. Yeah, that's what I think. Exactly is what I think. R do Russia, you know what a, China. Do you know what a UFO is? Unidentified flying object. I know what it is. We, we can it just can be say anything. that. Yeah, it's not a then, fucking bird. Yeah, but then we're just confusing people. Who the government is confusing people with saying UFO. Just say, yes, I agree. Yeah, just say balloon, like stop. Yeah, I guess a UFO could be, could be like a fucking a giant sky glider, technically. It can be a, and a baseball, just not technical, a baseball. Yo, imagine if we strapped one of those couches to a fucking go-kart on top of a UFO. sky glider. UFO. You know, and I'm cruising around in the clouds with, on a couch and shit attached to a fucking a sky glider go kart. They would be like, oh shit, Augustus is a UFO. Yeah. I guess I gotta give you a U. I gotta go preach. I don't wanna do that. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you trying to keep on following us, though, bro? I'm scared. Why not? I, I would like. I would like for them to keep UFO. Um not abuse the word or the initials right. or the acronym. Just don't use it unless... The weaponization of the term. Yeah, exactly. No, you're on point, well, Emilio. I, I would definitely say this, Gus. I think, use UFO, uh, uh -huh. I, I think to use UFO... Uh-huh. I hear you. I think to use UFO is great terminology right now. A great play. Because you got all these pink hair, purple hair, libtards out here, regardless right. of your hair color. They just useful idiots. And I'm going to tell you, if you're right. a useful idiot, if you just read just a little bit of history, just a little bit, how do you see tip of your index finger? It was this thing called oh. the Night of the Long Knives. You're done. That's what they're going to do. And anyone know about that? Is that similar to Red Dawn? No, no. 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 Okay. No, not at all. A lot of people think Red Dawn is like what we're heading for, except on a Chinese no. tip instead of Korea. No, but no, no. I think so neither long, neither long times when they did all the propaganda uh -huh. for uh, Hitler, and he killed everyone. Oh yeah, okay. And that's what we're going to. That's why they're using these young kids, I'm gonna sleep, you guys love you. young adults, to push a, a, an agenda. UFO, UFO, you're going to get stuck with that. Now I'm done preaching my uh, propaganda. You're done. Well, UFOs have been correlated with aliens since God knows when. but So it, it has been misused. I mean, the fact is, this balloon that they shot yeah, down well, the Great Lakes was only 60,000 feet in the air, which is not illogical. It doesn't need to be dropped by an alien trip, ship. A, a plane can go that high. So it's not really that oh, unrealistic. They, they could say well, a back in our they day was a loss in space. That old show. Movie. Yeah. Danger Will Robinson. Got you. Mm -hmm. I like Doctor Who better. But, yeah, we're getting, we're getting old. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, why trying to keep spying like, on us, though? Well, well it's all about information, honey. I mean, any way you can get nah, it. That's about war. Well, that's what, yeah, that's what works. So pilots, so pilots, I have a little bit background on this. Pilots say both. We didn't understand what's coming to them. Um, UFO, just keep UFO out of the the thing, right? It could just be a boat. Yeah. 
be a bogey. Because yeah. a bogey, a bogey would incite people of war. Right. That's that's negative intent. Mm. Is what a bogey is, or Charlie, or you know, whatever. Versus a UFO, because people, and if you look at movies and TV, it's all been sci-fi for the last six, seven years. You've been programmed. What's the last love comedy you've seen? Just remember, that was big in the 90s. Love comedy. It's all sci-fi. Mm -hmm. I've been programmed. I'm just thinking they're trying to... No, we grew up with Julia Roberts and... uh, what was that movie she made? Uh, when she was a hooker Pretty and all that shit. Yeah, love comedy. Yeah, and romantic comedy. Body Hill and all that bullshit. Yeah. Now it's just man, Star Wars, Marvel, 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 Marvel DC. Marvel. That's all you. That's all you know. Yeah. And you know what's weird is that people don't know how to separate fact from fiction, and so they're looking at, no, at media to explain it all. And it's just a bunch of bull crap. It's no, baby girl. It's, it, baby girl, I'm telling you, it's all Hollywood from yeah. knowing people in Hollywood. And people who know me on this app KP, KP. know I know Hollywood. Yes, sir. KP, it's Michael Yap here. I've been listening, and sometimes I go to sleep, sometimes I wake up. You know, we have been talking about UFO, uh, talking about Chinese balloon. You know that, uh, you know, my my, 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 my children, you know, my, <laughs> my brothers, everybody in 